In this video, we will discuss about arithmetic progression, specifically on how to solve the n term and the sum of an arithmetic progression using calculator techniques. So we will use Casio FX991 ES Plus or Casio FX570 ES Plus. So short trivia. What is an arithmetic progression? Arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between consecutive terms is constant. So one example of arithmetic progression is those add numbers. So example, add the add numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is an example of arithmetic progression with a constant difference of 2. Okay, so let's solve some problems. So problem number 1. Find the fourth term of an arithmetic progression, 2, 4, 6. So, we will solve for the certain n term of an arithmetic progression. So, the steps in finding the n term of an arithmetic progression. So, first step is press mode 3, 2 on our calculator. So, when you press mode 3, 2, the screen of your calculator will look like this. So let's try. So mode 3. So when you press mode 3, you will have 8 options. So you can observe that on option 2, we have a plus bx. That's the function of arithmetic progression. And for the option 6, it is a geometric progression. Okay, which we will discuss in our future videos. So, let's press mode 3, 2. So, 2. So, the screen of your calculator will look like this. Then, the next step, after pressing mode 3, 2. So, enter the data. So, let's enter the data. So, it's given the problem that the first term is 2, the second term is 4, and the third term is 6. So, in the X column of your calculator... It is the n term of the progression and y and the y column is the corresponding term. For example, the first term is 2. Okay. So we put 1 in the x column and 2 in the y column. Then the second term is 4. And the third term is 6. So, after entering the data, the next step is so, press AC. Okay. So, let's press AC. AC. After pressing the AC button, your calculator will look like this. Then, next step is shift 155. So, let's try. So, shift 1, 5, so take a look at this, so we have 5 options, the option 4 is the x hat and the option 5 is y hat, so remember we are looking for the 4th term, so we are looking for the value of the term in the y column, so we will choose y hat, so since we are solving for the value in the y column, so 5, that's why we choose Shift 1, 5, 5. Okay? 5. So, we are looking for the 4th term. So, we will put 4 in here. So, then press equals. So, the 4th term is 8. Which is true. Based on, just by looking on this problem. So, so remember. Be careful at this. So, if we put y, y hat, then 4. And we press equals, then it will say syntax error. So the proper format is to type which n term we are looking for. So four, then y hat shift one five five. Okay, okay. So let's solve another problem. So the answer is eight, correct? So problem number two: find the twenty fifth term of the arithmetic progression. 4, 7, 10. So, mode 1, again, the standard mode of the calculator. So, then, the first step is mode 3, 
2. Mode 3, 2. Okay? Since we are solving for the, for an arithmetic progression. So, the first term given in the problem is 4. So, you put, we will put 1 in the x column and 4 in the y column. Then, the second term is 7. And the third term is 10. So, after entering the data, then press AC. So, after pressing AC, since we are looking for the value in the Y column, it's the 25th term. So, shift 1, 5, we are again, choose Y hat. Okay, so, shift 1, 5, 5 again. Then, put which term are we looking for. We are looking for the 25th term. So, put 25, Y hat. Then press equals. So the answer is 76. So the 25th term of the arithmetic progression is 76. Let's check. So answer is 76. So with last example for the for finding the n term. So problem number three. The fifth term of an arithmetic progression is 123. The 30th term is 245. So what is the term okay so, mode 1 okay so press mode 3 2 is the first step so mode 3 2 since we are solving again for an arithmetic progression so after pressing mode 3 2 we then again enter the data now take a look at this the given is the fifth term which is one 123 and the 30th term is 245 so in the column x we will not put 1 like those on the previous problems so we will put 5 right so the fifth term is 123 plus equals and then 30th term is 245 so 245 then equals then the third step is press AC so after pressing AC since we are looking again for the value in the Y column which is the 12th term the corresponding 12th term is so we then again press shift 1 5 5 so shift 1 5 then we are looking again for the value in the Y column so Y hat then we put 12 so 12y hat, since we are looking for the value of 12 term. So plus equals, so the answer is 157.16. So the 12 term is 157.16. Okay. So let's check. So the answer is 157.16. We are already done in finding the n term of an arithmetic progression. Let us now take a look for the steps in Finding the sum of an arithmetic progression. So, problem number 4. So, find the sum of an arithmetic progression 4, 7, 10 from 1st term to 28th term. Let us analyze. So, the steps in finding the sum of arithmetic progression. So, first step is press mode 3 to again like the first step in solving for the n term. So, mode 3 to again. So let's go in mode 1 first. So mode 3, 2, since we are again solving for an arithmetic progression. Then after pressing mode 3, 2, the next step is enter the data. Enter the data. So from the problem, it is given that the first three terms is 4, 7, 10. So we will enter first term is... 4 so the second term is 7 and the third term is 10 okay let us now take a look at the third step so after entering the data the next step is press AC so we must press AC then press AC again okay after pressing AC so shift log alpha x shift 1 5 5 shift x n 1 shift x n 2 
I will explain this part. So, shift lag. If we press shift lag, okay. Let's try. So, shift lag. So, we will have the function summation. Then, alpha x. Alpha x. Then, shift 155 to input y hat. Okay. So, shift 155. Then, comma. To input comma. Press shift. Then, x. Shift x. Then, the n1 here is the first term of the arithmetic progression. Since we are looking for the sum from the first term up to 28th term of the arithmetic progression, the n1 is 1 since we are looking from the first term. So, press 1, then comma again. So, shift x. Then, the n term that we are looking for is the 28th. So, we are looking for the sum from the first term up to 28th term. So, we put 28 here. Then close parenthesis, then press equals. So the answer for the sum of this arithmetic progression is 1246. So remember the format, so summation of x, y hat, comma, the first term, and then comma, the end term. So close parenthesis, then press equals. Okay? So check if the answer is correct so the answer is 1246 so correct so let's solve another problem in finding the sum of an arithmetic progression so problem number five so an arithmetic progression starts with one has nine terms and the middle term is 21 so determine the sum of the first nine terms if you analyze this problem, so the first term is 1 since it stated that an arithmetic progression starts with 1. So it has 9 terms and the middle term is 21. So if we analyze that, so if we have 9 terms and the middle is 21, so the middle of 9 is 5. So our fifth term is 21. So let's put that in a table. So look at this. So... In the x column, it is the n term, and the y column, the corresponding term of the arithmetic progression. For the first term, we have 1, and the fifth term is 21. So that's the data which we will enter in the calculator. So let's try. So let's go to mode 1, then go to mode 3, too, since we are again solving for an arithmetic progression so mode 3 2 then we will input the data so for the first term we have 1 for the second term I mean for the fifth term we have 21 okay. so we are solving for the sum determine the sum of the first nine terms so press AC, the third step, then input, so summation of alpha x, so y hat, so shift 1, 5, 5, so comma, so from the first 9 terms, so we start from the first term up to the, then comma again up to the 9 term, so we put 9 there, so we press equals, so the answer is 189. So the, the sum of the first nine term is 189. Okay. So let's check if the answer is correct. So the answer is correct. The sum of the first nine term is 189. So that's all. So if you have any questions, so don't hesitate to comment down below. And if you think you learned something from this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That's all. Thank you.